How's it going guys? DMC Coins back here today. And I'm not even sure if you guys remember me. You know, the last video I made was back in February. That was my February coin roll hunting wrap up video. Well, today's the next video. It's currently May 30th, so <laughs> um this is the March coin roll hunting wrap up video. Long time coming. So let's get into it. As per the usual, I am going to start out with the scents. So, basically here's what we found. We found 412 wheat scents in here. We found one 1903 Indian head scent. Right there. So boom, we're going to put the Indian head scent with the other Indian head scents found from this here. I think we've got like three or four now. So that's cool. And we're going to dump our 412 wheat cents into the wheat cents for the year so there we are all right so like i said we're gonna go up by denomination um we found 412 wheat cents in um in 1750 coins or 2,000 rolls, 41 boxes. Went through a lot of pennies in March, but went through a lot of. I went through almost that many um, one uh, a few days ago. So, anyhow, I will be back with the nickels shortly. All right, guys. Sorry about that last clip. Um, the last clip, I said that my last video was back in February. I was wrong, it was back in April when I got that war nickel score. And what reminded me of that was the March war nickels, because there were quite a few in March as well. But we won't get to those yet. Let's get to the, um, the, just the early Jeffersons starters. We got, here's, here's the 30s. And there were 60. Um, there, there's, there's 58 in here. Because these two are 1938 D key dates. So that's that. Um, there were 396 from the 40s, excluding the war nickels. So the 40s are in this jar right here from March. 50s, we got 355. Those are going to be in this jar right here. Then. We will go with the uh, other two key dates. These are both 1950Ds, and I do not want to touch them much because they're really nice. So those are cool. Two 1950 Denver's. So I'm going to gently put those in there in the key date Jefferson thing. Alrighty, we have three proof Jefferson nickels. 1961 1970 this one's actually really nice got lots of a uh, reflectivity still then this one not too not too shiny more it's a 75 so we're gonna put those in the proof envelope which is getting mighty full Alright, we covered those. These are just some really nice 1956 Denvers that I decided to uh, keep out. So I don't know where I'll put those quite yet. Those might go in the miscellaneous um, jar with all the other nice coins. Um, here's 10 buffalo nickels that we found right here. Some with date, some without date. So, we'll put that in the Buffalo's envelope. Right there. And then we got two V-Nickels. 1906 and 1911. So, put those with our lonely V-Nickel in there. So, now he's got friends. That's cool. Now let's get to the War-Nickels. There were 
57. 57 war nickels in the month of March. So that is really cool in my opinion. That means that calls for the silver jar. Oh yeah, it's getting getting fuller and fuller. All right. That's the nickels. Move on to dime sacks, all right? All right. For uh for us up with the nickels, we went through 795 rolls, which is 15.9 boxes and 300 no, 31,800 nickels. So, that's cool. All right, let's go to the dimes. One more find from the nickels. We had a buffalo nickel under in the month of March, so that's cool. Alright, and we're basically ready for the dimes. We found one proof dime right here. It's a 1979S. It's cool. Got that there. Got two marks. Right there. 37 and 42. And 22 Roosevelt dimes. That's out of 12 boxes. So, oh, also, one more thing. We found, where'd they go? Uh-oh, they evaded me. Where'd they go? Well, I found two Canadian dimes as well. Ah, here they are. They're mixed in with the Rosies. There are two Canadian dimes. We got a 63 and a 43, so... That's cool. So we will get the silver jar ready. This is the four and silver. So let's do this. Toss it in with four and silver. Toss in the rosies. And the marks. All right. We move on to quarters next. Actually, hold on. Let's show the tally for the dimes. Like I said, 12 boxes, 600 rolls, 30,000 coins. So, boom. Alright, let's go to the quarters. Alright, just to conserve some time, we're just going to do the last three denominations all together. Starting with the quarters, we've got two San Francisco minted NIFCs. We've got a, a two proofs, Rhode Island and New York. We've got four 2019 West Point. One is an AMP. Three are San Antonio missions. We have eight 2020 West Points, two Tallgrass Prairie. One Rockefeller, one Salt River Bay, one Brewer Farm, and three American Samoa. So those are the quarters. Let's move on to the half dollars. Got some big chunky 64s right here. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's all I found in March. Could be wrong, but I believe that's it. And... For the dollar coins, I believe all I kept was this Ike, 1973. So, silver gets to go in there. Oh yeah, silver. We got an NIFC folder for these two. Proof envelope for these two. 2019 W envelope for these four. Twenty twenty W envelope for these five. And then the Ike will go on the miscellaneous. Cause it's a uh, it's it's an older I mean it's a uh, harder to find year, so I kept it. Alright guys, I believe that is it. Um, there's one more thing that I wanted to show you that I just saw earlier and then I can't find it now. It was, uh, 
Aha, here it is. This is a this is a gift from Jackalope and Freedom Coin. So basically, my birthday was back in March, and so I got a couple uh, Freedom's Coin sticker, a Freedom Coin card, and then we got a I believe German um, coin. It's got the it's, it's from World War II era. It's from the Nazis. Um, got three 40 percenters and two dimes. So this will all, let's see here. We'll put the sticker in this, in the, uh, in the trade slash, um, gifts jar. So, then we'll put the coins back in their envelope and fold the envelope up and stick it in there as well. This is all the stuff that I've gotten in 2020 through the mail, whether it's trades or <coughs> gifts or giveaway wins. So that is cool. Thank you guys so much. Oh, well, I guess that's it, guys. Um, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to be working on the April one next. So, all right. Have a good one. Peace. Yeah, in case you were wondering, for the quarters, here's the roll. 283, 5.66 boxes, 11,320 coins. Half dollars, 10 rolls, 0.2 boxes, 200 coins. Small dollars, 189, Ix 32. There we are. All right. Peace out, guys. I'll see you on the April wrap-up video, which should be even more epic than this one. All right, guys. Peace. Boy, oh boy, I have to treat you viewers better than this, because I lied yet again. I fibbed. We're not done with March quite yet, because we have the miscellaneous and foreigns to go through. Now, I'm not really going to make us an extravagant event out of this, but just thought I'd show you over here. It's going to be the miscellaneous U.S. coins. It could be from minor errors to counter stamps to gold plated, anything in between that would go in there. And I have a designated jar for it right here. Just like the designated jar for foreign coins right here I mean bear in mind this is just for 2021 so we, we got Forens upon forens. Then this, ladies and gentlemen, is the forens from the coin machine, March twelfth. This can range from coins that didn't go through to foreign coins, the tokens, anything in between. I look through it and then I put it all back in an envelope, date it, and let it await for the wrap-up video. And today's the wrap-up video, so that's cool. Alright. Now, I think we're done. Don't quote me on it, but if we're done, have a good day. If we're not, I'll see you soon, I guess. Um, so yeah, North Point Forums, go in there in their designated envelope. Boom. Alright guys, peace out I think, for the month of March.